good day beautiful people wherever you are in the world it's a beautiful 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 day once again and i welcome you to the divine truth where we bring out the truth in any concept <laughs> so finally i got i got a better lighting you know uh, and it's a beautiful day once again and today i want to speak about the manifestation of fear on the physical body because we we know much about the manifestation of fear on the energy body where it blocks our chakras so today as i was minding my own business as usual you know just minding my own business i started to realize that fear also manifests on our physical body and on our physical body we can see it because it manifests as desire it's money it manifests as a drive as a drive that drives our body to do things and people somebody will come and say you know my dream is to become this but they don't realize that it's fear manifesting on the physical body as desire so first and first fear will manifest in the in the body as desire of wealth desire of owning cars having a family having a job and being rich there's nothing wrong with being rich please understand me but if you are dr driven by, by by ego or if you're driven by fear as desire then you will never ever be joyful and peaceful and you will never have love there are so many people who have been driven by their bodies because of fear that has manifested in their bodies and those people right now as i'm speaking <laughs> their life isn't as good as they expected so fear will manifest in the body as desire and then one will start to have desire for money for wealth and they will want to 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 to, to own a home they'll be they want to to accomplish and to do a job and fear as desire in the highest that we can see it because we all think that all that we are dreaming of all that we want is just you know it's just how life is because we are taught that we are supposed to accomplish things in our lifetime so we are driven by desire that we can't realize what desire is and what it really is sorry about it so one will want to have wealth and you realize desire as you don't care about who, who get head who gets head on the way many people have had so many people because of their desire they don't care what they who they had along the way they manipulate their way into success at least the illusion of success they they deceive their way into success they lie their way into success and you realize that you have desire when every time after you accomplish something you are not joyful you are not peaceful you can't even take the time off to just being and you are working so hard that's why working hard it's a trap of ego because when you work hard so much it's, it means that you are living under fear remember that the desire for wealth the desire for security and all of that all comes because one has fear that fear of the that they they, they, they they won't fit in fear of death fear of of being realized for who they are so people hide themselves behind their wealth and there's another desire <laughs> that that is taking over the world right now that's the desire for pleasure and many sages in the past ages have been speaking about this one will have a desire for pleasure especially desire for for fun parties desire for sex but you realize his desire because one is having the desire only because they want to hide their insecurities they want to hide their insecurities in others they don't want to accept their current situation like people who, who live in suffering they don't want to accept that they are suffering so they'll go on to drink alcohol to abuse drugs and to even abuse sex 
and there are also people who also have this drive for desire to go out there do hiking do adventurous things you know do risky things only because they have they have this desire to run away from accepting their present moment now all desire emanates from not accepting the present moment so basically <laughs> i've been having this challenge of desire in terms of food because i would eat and eat and eat only because i said in my last video only because right now i i i don't have food at my home i'm going through they call it the dark night of the soul but basically it's it's a stage it's a process for me for manifestation of what i really want so basically i don't have food at home right now then I realized today that when I get at work, I eat too much and I have this unconscious belief that if I eat too much, then I will then I will fill up the space of not eating at home. So once I realized that desire, then I was like, it feels so good <laughs> to be alive and to be with the divine because I'm always grateful to the divine. I'm always grateful to the divine powers that are out there that are always waking for us. And the universe is even waking for us. <laughs> so with that being said, I say it's a beautiful, 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 beautiful day. And once again, have a beautiful, 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 beautiful day. And right now, I say be awesome, be amazing. Till we meet on the next video, peace be with you.